Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am back again with some new words that can actually help you spice up your language, uplift your English standard. Okay, so in our daily routine, you know, if we keep using this word, it is boring, boring, boring. We don't we say that, oh, it's a boring food, boring job, boring movie, boring routine, boring companions, boring people, boring mother-in-law, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so aren't we actually bored to keep using the word boring repetitively? Of course we are, okay? So why don't we use some other words in order to indicate that something is boring, okay? It's boring, you know, to keep using the word boring again and again, day in and day after, just to, you know, explain things, yeah? So let's understand in this video, which are the different vocabularies, which are the different terminologies that you can make use of instead of saying it's boring, instead of this word boring, and spice up our language, uplift our language, elevate our English quotient, yeah? So here we go. The very first word is insipid, okay? What is it? It's insipid. And what does that mean? Insipid is like, Something which lacks interest, something which is boring, something which lacks energy, okay, something that's absolutely dull, etc. So definitely you can make use of this word insipid in order to say that something is boring, okay? So say, for example, if your mom questions you or asks you that, hey, would you like to have dal rice again, you know, to, uh, tonight? You had the same thing for lunch. Again, you would like to have it for dinner. Dal rice, you'll say, oh, that's insipid, mom. Means that's boring, mom, to keep having dal chawal, to keep having dal rice again and again for lunch also and for dinner also. Okay, so instead of saying boring, just say that's insipid, mom. It's insipid, insipid menu. Okay, second one is prosaic. Okay, what is it? Just pause the video and practice the pronunciation along with me. Prosaic. Now, what is prosaic? Prosaic, again, means something which is very dull, something that lacks energy, something that, uh, you know, is not interesting, something that, that has no innovation, something that, something that is like absolutely routine. Yeah. So say, for example, I escaped the prosaic movie. I escaped the prosaic movie. Now, what do you mean? by this. You mean that you were in the theater watching this movie, but you escaped the theater. Why you escaped this movie? Why? Because the movie was absolutely dull. Had no energy, had no innovation, had no variety, nothing at all. Okay, so that's why you call that movie, instead of saying it's boring or it was damn boring, just say it was prosaic. I escaped the prosaic movie. That's it. Yeah. Mundane. The third word is mundane. Now, I hate my mundane job which means I hate my routine job. I hate my boring job. I hate my monotonous job. Okay, so now instead of saying uh, boring, you can also use this word monotonous. Okay, monotonous. Monotonous again means something which is absolutely routine and you're absolutely you know, tired doing that day in and day out. Okay, so like the job is mundane, which means it's boring. It's absolutely routine. It's an everyday thing. And I need some change. So I'm just tired of doing this, my mundane job. Okay, mundane. Next, you have bromidic. Bromidic is again, a, you know, a, a word that means lacking energy, lacking luster, uh, absolutely dull. Yeah, uh, so you can say that, oh, I'm tired of her bromidic talks, which means routine talks, monotonous talks. She talks about her... She again, you know, she, she just only talks about her mother-in-law and I'm absolutely tired hearing the same stuff. So I'm just absolutely tired hearing the bromidic talks. Okay, you can say a bromidic personality. So a personality who's very dull, who's absolutely has no energy. Yeah, bromidic personality, bromidic talks, etc. Humdrum. A humdrum is also something which is like an everyday thing. I want to escape from my humdrum of life, which means from the daily routine of my life, okay, which is very boring. Okay, so something that is routine, something which is very monotonous, something which is an everyday thing, I want to escape from that. Why? Because it's boring, yeah? So instead of saying 
I want to escape from my boring routine life. I can just say I want to just escape from the humdrum of my life. Humdrum is the boring routine of my life. Okay. So friends, well, that's about it in this video. I hope you have uncovered good number of words which you can keep using in your daily language and do not make your daily language boring by repeatedly using the same old terminologies. Spice up your language, elevate your English quotient, use these words and get rid of boring English. Okay, friends. So that's about it in this video. We'll stay connected. If you like the content, please subscribe, share, comment, like. Okay, I would love to see your comments. And I will keep bringing in, you know, some stuff that can definitely help you uplift, elevate your English. And that's about it. Thank you so much. Goodbye, goodbye, very goodbye.